the first thing we have to do is some planning. So prior to installing and configuring data dedupe, a few things we need to do. One, determine the target deployments. Now that's gonna be the drive that you actually want to deploy data dedupe to. Determine which volumes on the drive you believe would be a candidate for deduplication. Those are just gonna be volumes where you believe you have a lot of duplicate data. Now, something to think about. You could have 100 gigabytes of data on a drive. You have no idea how much of that data is actually duplicate data. So what Microsoft gave us is this deduplication evaluation tool, which they actually call DDP eval. It's actually a command line tool, but that's the executable, DDP eval exe. This is part of the deduplication role. So once you install deduplication, it actually installs this command line tool you can run. This will let you single out a drive and it'll tell you what your space savings would be on that drive. So you're never in a situation where you deduplicate a drive and then discover your space savings is not what you assumed it would be. Then we just plan the rollout of deduplication and we plan the policies. We'll see the policies in the interface, but they're gonna contain things like deduplicate files older than a certain number of days. So those types of settings. If I wanna have an exclusion to say, don't deduplicate a certain file extension, but we'll see those policies in the interface. They're really pretty simplistic. Once you've completed all the planning, then we can move on to the actual deployment. The first thing we have to do is install data deduplication. This is not installed by default, so it's not available by default. Now, once you install it, it still has to be enabled. So we will enable uh, data dedupe. Then we will configure the jobs. Once you have your job configured, we will just define the schedule that we want this to actually run on. And that's it. Set it and forget it. Not anything you actually have to configure again. 